Hello, everybody. I think I'm about ready to get started. Before we dive into the game, looks like we have a follower. We'll give a special shout out to JexCheck3, aka Poro. You're wide open. Thank you for the follow. So, I guess to do a brief plot recap, we are attempting to go back to the junkyard as a very unlucky redhead, whose name we just learned recently was Lin, is about to be potentially killed again? <laughs> Question mark? So we should probably go stop that. I mean, we don't have to, but we, we probably should. This song in particular reminds me of Phoenix Wright. If you had not told me this game had some correlation to Phoenix Wright in terms of, like, directors or writers, hearing that song, Awakening, I would have assumed. It's got a lot of Phoenix vibe to it. Anyway. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. You're wide open! We'll do another dex check shout-out, I guess. Welcome in, Parameter. Sure, we'll start from this time frame. <laughs> I like that I could just reject it. Can we keep hanging out with Missile instead? Maybe. Missile right now is headbutting a door. Well, anyway, let's go back through the telephone. You know, as you do. I like that I tried using my mouse wheel to scroll. Silly me, we're not playing on the PC version. To the junkyard we go. Not much time has passed since I was last here, but the situation has changed. Oh, speaking of the song, that's that's good timing, chat. So a green suit detective, a blue suit detective, and then kind of like an aqua. Looks like my looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. <laughs> real subtle there, lamp. Real subtle. Beside them, a certain somebody else wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Hmm. We'll see if Chad has any guesses. If you played the game before, obviously, probably don't spoil it, but... Definitely will be interesting to see the theories as we go through the game. See, I need to adjust the voice for this character, but not by much. I I'm, like, internalizing. It's Larry Butts. Yeah, it's you're right, you're right, it's Larry Butts. We're actually Phoenix. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's like the thing I'm trying to strive for is happy, but a little older. I think I made him sound a little too young next time, so I, I have to think about it internally for a moment as we go for take two for the voice. Welcome back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, huh? Where is Lynn? Is she all right? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. Yeah, are we gonna, <laughs> are we gonna go and find out about Professor Birdhead or whatever he is? It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact a hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? I mean, she was arrested, but why? I don't know. I'm just a desk lamp. Hmm. Better see what I can find out. Look on the dialogue. Quite a thing, huh? This case. Yeah, one of our own, a murder. Heads will roll over this. Hmm. Interesting design for this character, in particular the glasses, reminds me of a different character. Heads will roll over this. And she's a rookie too. Heard she was carrying out some kind of crazy investigation. These aren't given crazy assignments like that, not even rookies like Lin. Oh no, Chad, she's the exceptional rookie. Yeah, but I heard she was special. 
Well, I mean, now you don't have to question it. Very square. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special <laughs> Investigation Unit. This one is special. There we go. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Oh. <laughs> um. Hmm. Right, chat? So far, we have not seen good thing for people with blue skin in this universe, so... Hmm. Like me. Whoa, this looks bad! Exactly. Is there anything else to investigate before we actually do it at once? Okay, we don't see anything else. Let's go ahead and zip to a new object. To this, go to this. There's a bag here. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took in the chest. I'm sure this blue skin doctor is completely safe and trustworthy. I mean, we've only found like three assassins and an evil henchman and a leader at this point or something equivalency. With the same skin color. Bring the stretcher. I'll look into the rest back at the lab. Do you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Oh, Chad is gonna have a field day. I just realized Chad has not seen this character. I've seen little snippets of this character. Special Investigations Unit. What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella is our top investigator. Don't want to get him all bent out of shape or they'll be held at play. Hmm. Don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for, either. <clears throat> it's probably just a big lark for him. There you go, Chad, it's a big lark. But it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. Never know who might be listening. Welcome, Calvisham. <laughs> hope you're doing well. Also hope you've slept a bit better, Chris. Like me again, Chad. Like me. Uh-oh. Yes, he has arrived. Here we go, chat. Oh, the tension of a crime scene! Yeah, nothing like it, baby! Here we go, chat. <laughs> Evening, boys. How's it looking? Inspector Cabanella, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. Chat like in the strut. Fine, fine. Just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. That's how you make a phone call, chat. So this is the head of the Special Investigation Unit. He seems, uh... Unique. New info has been added. Oh, damn right we're, we're clicking on new info. We get to listen to his theme longer, too. Emma's after her, her again, apparently. <laughs> She's a detective, apparently. Listen to that theme, chat. The green detective. Member of the police who's investigating my murder. His partner is the blue detective. He works under Inspector Cabanella. The blue detective. A member of the police who's investigating my murder. His partner is the green detective. He works under Inspector Cabanella. Odd blue doctor. There we go, chat. He's apparently a colleague of the detectives. He's examining my corpse. There's something off about him. <laughs> is it the blue skin? <laughs> I mean, like, one one would hope that would be the thing that we would be concerned about. Lanky and Loose Lawman. What a title. Head of the Special Investigation Unit. His name is Cabanella. Apparently he's the group's top investigator. Looked up to by his men. Seems to dance through life. He's some kind of special tie to Lin. There we go. You never usually hear this far into the song. 
Oh, are you not gonna let me talk to the lamb? Oh, that would be so disappointing if I can't. I might not be able to. Oh, I wanted to talk to the lamb chat. We got denied. There's something off, but I can't put my non blue finger on it. Yeah. Man. I guess there's no extra conversations. So we'll move on. Also, I missed the dialogue. Oops. Deal me the deal. How's it going over there, baby? Going. How's it going, you ask? You'd like to know how it's going? I'd say it's going well enough. About fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's going all right. Dot, 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 dot. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. What is anything to do with this park? I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of the park, yes. Oh, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Started blathering something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Oh, sorry about that. We'll start doing your sticking out thing, baby. And buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Race complete. We got a new phone number at the park. I'll go a little slower to make sure I don't miss the dialogue bubbles. Now then, sir. If I may make my report, sir. Doc, yoo-hoo! Oh, Doc! Talking to me. I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need you to tell me how to do my job. If the blue henchman spiked his hair back, you'd be Phoenix. Yeah, I was... <laughs> I was kind of thinking, like, with the colors, they kind of remind me of some of the characters in Phoenix, right, too? If you just look at the primaries. The other guy might be kind of like the guy that goes bald. I think Pain ended, had a green suit, right, in Phoenix, right? Anywho, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir. I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Yeah, he kind of reminds me of that. Winston Payne, thank you, Chad. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, sir. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. Here we go, chat. This is how you begin your walking. Carry on, boys. Good luck, sir. There you go, chat. Trick time. Let's see if they have anything to say before we move. Phew, an Inspector Cabanella. Sure has a strange air about him. <laughs> Is that not how you people walk exactly? You could say that again. I've never seen anybody use the stairs the way he does. Here he's dancing his way up the stairs of promotion the same airy way. I heard Lin is his personal favorite. What's the deal between those two? Hey, how should I know? Okay, I've got more uh, dialogue. So we can go to the park. I don't think we could go upwards. Unless something new has occurred. If you see, none of these have abilities. So only if the suitcase move could we do something here. So I guess we'll just go to the park because we have nothing better to do. Or actually, before we go to the park, did anything else open back up? Ah, it's not letting us go there. One day, Chad, we'll be able to go back. Let's see if anything new happened with the, the novel where we continue with the plot. Still tapping away passionately, I see. Tip her fingers to the bone to complete her tale of love, I imagine. 
little girl with the fever seems to be sleeping now. She's having some sweet dreams. Oh. Mr. Prime Minister. Hmm. Guess not. Oh, we're not getting any more of the novel. Oops. Thought I clicked on it, but apparently not. So, minor updates there, but we didn't get any new information. He's still here. I'm curious if he says anything. He appears to be deeply troubled. He doesn't have any work to do. Why doesn't he just go home and go to bed? Maybe the fact he doesn't have any work to do is what has him deeply troubled. I've had a bit of work to do myself. I don't know which of us is in a more enviable situation, though. Do you have anything new? No. Oh, okay, yeah, we tried. Anyway, let's go to the park. Here's to be the entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. Voices of two young people drift over to me on the breeze. Stop the park from being turned into housing sites! Protect the park, the rock of the gods! Oh, uh, sorry. But could you do that somewhere else? I'm a little busy right now. Don't have time to talk. I suppose you think I'm a man of dubious character, a questionable person. No, I, uh... But if an objective person were asked, they might think you were a little suspicious yourself. As two suspicious characters, should we take the time to converse with each other? Oh boy, uh, all right, uh, but just for a minute. Oops. There, I like your attitude. I like it very much. Let's relax and talk a while then. The night is young and so are we. Oh man. Quick time. Let's eavesdrop. Look at him go, chat. Ah, uh, what a pain. Oh. Can we actually not do anything here. Interesting. I was thinking we would be able to at least listen in on their conversation. There must be something I missed in the park. Did we get any updates on these characters? We did. Detective with the cap. Works under Inspector Cabanella. He's performing a stakeout from the park. That man seems to be bothering him. Guardian of the park. It's no way to describe him except the man who is bothering the detective with the cap. Mission is apparently to protect the park. Okay, we got a very minor update. Junkyard. At least have begun their investigation, so not too much is updated there. Park stakeout point. Park where the detective with the cap is performing a stakeout. Not fellow who claims to be the guardian of the park is here too. Okay. So surprisingly, no conversations we can listen in on here. I thought for sure we would get something with those two. But oh well. I guess there's something I didn't do in the junkyard. I mean, it told us that, like, the person was above us, but I was thinking we had to wait a little bit, but I guess not. We only have one other location to go, and there's clearly nothing I could do in the park. So what object could I manipulate that I did not see? I didn't see a way to go up, but maybe there was. It's like I need the doctor to move something, but I can't do it. Oh, he's got a new dialogue now. Game teasing me. I think we could pretty, pretty safely assume this was the murder weapon. Oh no, that pistol! Yep, same model as the pistols you detectives carry around. Dun, dun, dun. You don't think it's Linz, do you? This is not good. If it's hers, it's all over. And Lynn is a detective, and the murder weapon might be her pistol. What did it all mean? I'll wait a bit to see if there's more dialogue. I guess I could shoot the gun. 
Or I could examine the pistol. That also works. So this is the weapon that took my life. Pistol, eh? My memory seems to be hazy on pistols. Hmm. <clears throat> but I have seen them before, that's for sure. Let's see. This part right here is... There we go. I knew we were going to shoot the god. It was inevitable. Right, chat? <laughs> it's like investigating the Pope, examine the gun. Be real, chat. Fool, you want to fire the thing, aim it in your own direction. I didn't fire it. I'm the victim here. Interesting we didn't really know what a pistol was or a music box, chat. Hmm. This is the act of somebody who's jealous of my abilities as a detective. Well, what are you glaring at me for? I'm hardly jealous of you. Well, guess that proves it's a real gun. Bang. Uh-oh, chat. Another gunshot. What was that? Is that what I think it was? Gun is placed in a story. It will be fired. Exactly. The sound of a gun. Got a bad feeling about this. Damn, that phone rings. It's bad news. It's like that old riddle. Which came first? The ringing of the phone or the crime scene? Or the crime case, excuse me. Uh, if you say so. Uh, do they have anything they need to say before I go further? I'm gonna be so sad if we're just immediately gonna go to the park. Oh, there you are. Do me a favor and have the doc come to the super's office, would you? Ah, uh, seems pretty busy at the moment, sir. Which one are you, the green one or the blue one? Huh? Oh, I'm, uh, the green one, sir. Listen, greeny. Get the good doc over here this instant. Or I'll see to it you'll never wear a green suit again. Yes, sir, I'll send them right up, sir. Race complete. Got a new phone number, Super's office. Please, doctor, go to the superintendent's office immediately. Ah, oh, if I must. Quick time. Conversation. What's going on? Don't ask me, but something seems really, really wrong. Shot sound like it was coming from somewhere around the maintenance building. Dun dun dun. Ooh, thought bubble. The telephone call was from the super's office in the maintenance building. Didn't the blue detective say that Lim was being held in the junkyard superintendent's office? Hurry then. You'd better get up there quickly. No time to be standing around here talking to a desk lamp. Says the one who's only capable of standing around. There we go. We got bonus dialogue finally. The game was not happy with us stalling. Speaking of not happy with us stalling. <laughs> right, chat? Aw, oh, we didn't have it entered into locations yet. We'll get it soon enough. I don't think I need to do anything else. Let's just trick away. Almost sounds racist when he called the other guy Greeny. Another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be awaiting on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. As long as there's anything I could do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Sure. Let's continue playing. Chapter 4, 8.23 p.m. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. Seen at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No, Lin, hang in there, baby. 
It looks like some piece of trash shot her from the top of the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, can't allow that, pigeon man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job and I have mine. Let's leave each other... Oh, let's leave each to his own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... Anyway, have it your way. Oh no, Burger King all over again, chat. I'll stay out of your hair. New info has been added. There you go, the bird had the key. That's one way to hide a key, chat. Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet. Or are you to shout at me? I'm gonna let me look at the victim. I didn't even look yet, but I could tell you she's dead. Second death of the night, actually. Trick time. We'll give him a minute to settle in. See if we get any new dialogue. We do. How about it, Doc? Can you save her? She's not breathing. Afraid I'm not a miracle worker. The only thing we could do now is curse the aim of the one who shot him. Lid, how could I let this happen to you? Are we updating in, her, in the book that she died? Oh, we didn't actually update that she died. Interesting. Take that updates, apparently. Oh, there's Pigeon Man. The superintendent of the junkyard. Apparently also lives in the maintenance building. Man who loves and is loved by his pet pigeon. Or at least, that's how it appears to be. Alright, now out of curiosity. If I choose not to interact with the plot, what does the game say to me? Nothing new to do in the junkyard, probably. We probably can't go to any of these locations. Phone is gonna be broken for a while. I might give up on Lynn's apartment for now. Go back to Lady in Red. <laughs> right, chat? Ah, it's just a dead body. She's not going anywhere. Let's see, do we get any new novel updates? Aw, oh, no new novel updates? That's disappointing. It's like they didn't expect me to be trolling. There might be a bonus dialogue at the park. Oh, I didn't know you could skip that animation. Good to know. I was just rapid tapping chat. Still nothing of interest here. We'll peek in every now and then, chat. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good to know. I could just click through that, essentially. The entrance to the park still, near, still as nearly deserted as before. I wish that one of the young people has become more animated. Ah, oh, so we did get a bonus scene. Sort of. This park, this park is in the midst of a crisis, a calamity. The park is in trouble. So, housing site, huh? That's what they want to make this place into? Oh, what an evil plan! terrible plot that will surely bring down the wrath of the gods upon us oh i get it now you live in this park don't you well i can't deny that indeed might be the case yes however this park is no ordinary park no not ordinary the gods are here the gods the gods huh what was that weird thing you mentioned a minute ago something about the house of the gods or something Yes, as I build my house on the rock of the gods, it must be protected. We must protect it. If you look at the paragraph 23 of this leaflet, you'll see the rock of the gods explained. Won't you take a moment with me now to study all about it? The night is extremely young and so are we. You mind if I keep on working while you talk? There we go, chat. We got more lore. Sadly, no new conversations beyond that, though. Okay. We still can't examine the leaflet, sadly. 
We totally should have been able to do that, by the way. Anyway, let's go investigate the death of a character. <laughs> you know, uh, just a dead body. Whatever. Let's see what clues we can get. There seems to be something behind the bookcase. I wonder what that is. <laughs> I'm gonna turn on the lamp because I can. Swivel. Ah, uh, we can examine it. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, I guess it is more pink than red. Somebody stuck it behind the bookcase at a haphazard angle. <clears throat> Maybe that's the superintendent's way of tidying up. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, we could go to... There's a ball. What is all... Wait, what is all... The... Wait a minute. Right chat, right chat, wait a minute. What's all this? This is like his secret hideout? What the heck is all this down here? It's like a table, and then a weird... And then like a weird contraption connected to a rotator? Is that a birthday present? Yeah, it's almost like that's a cake or something in it? I don't know what that is. I can't click on it. But it's in the present box, so, or it could be a cake box. What a weird place. I'm sure we'll have to come down here eventually. Anyway, good to know, I guess. We're probably gonna have to interact with this in a moment. Unconscious this time as well, huh? Where am I? She's coming too? What's happened to me? All the dot dot dots. Excuse me. Are you ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. Sunlight used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. It's starting to remind me of me. Who am I? Everybody seems to call you Lin, if that's any help. Lin, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently, you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? <laughs> sure. Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but yes, that kind of detective. <laughs> I like how even we call it out. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, wait a minute. We're starting to remember something. There's no time to lose. Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight. Oops. <laughs> she thinks she's the other detective. Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. Uh-oh, chat. So I guess we're getting confirmation that ghosts can be confused as to who they are. Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. It'd be pretty heinous if it if I look like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. There. Now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Yeah, they need Detective Dogie. Do have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. Grr. Everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I got some things to ask you about. Ooh, let's ask about me. Looking for the answers to the questions, who am I and why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Name is Sissel, huh? I think so. I think some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. You must at least know me, I think. 
I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm sorry. I don't think I can help you. But why not? Because I don't know you. Well, what do you mean? I thought you said you've remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. Remember the fact that I don't know you. No way. There you go, chat. You love that face. Lin's death. Two strangers. We'll go with Lin's death first. So I died, huh? See, now we're going into the Phoenix Wright style of dialogue where we choose the multi options. Anyway, so I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. What could this have happened? After I just passed my test finally this year, my exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. Now look at me. Why'd I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Poor kid. The shock is setting in. So I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And you saved me? That's right, you don't remember? We... Dot, dot, dots. Hmm, yes. I think I do remember something like that happening, vaguely. Yes, I did get shot. By a blue man dressed all in black. Guess that means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. Hmm. So I died twice already tonight. She knew what to say to her. Guess I'll have to wait until she recovers a little. She dot, dot, dots. Hey, that did some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she pretty much recovered already. Two strangers. So you don't know me, huh? So we're hearing some of the character themes. I think we heard Missile's theme already. And I think Ray's theme was when we're in the junkyard. I confused it for the junkyard theme the first time we played. As in yesterday. I think we heard uh, Missile's theme and Ray's theme so far. Cabanera is definitely. You don't know me, huh? Nope, wish I did. So, do you suppose we're just two strangers who happened to meet tonight? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding. You mean... Bingo, by you! I asked you to come here, but why? That's what I was gonna ask you! Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. Goes without saying that, I don't remember. Girl, everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hmm. Lin, not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? Next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. And you do. I think you can try to find out about me before tomorrow morning. Who am I and why was I killed? She dot dot dots. I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. But I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. Hmm. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. She dot dot dots. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who already saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. I'm afraid I'm still going to ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. We dot 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 dot. I know it's selfish of me. I really apologize. But I can't just die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Tell her end of the line, chat. Dot, da, dot, da, dot, da, dot, da, dot, dot, dot. Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? 
certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot? Time to rewind time, chat. Lin's second death. Heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. Four minutes before death, 8.18 p.m. in the maintenance building. Also, this song in particular sounds like a Phoenix Wright song. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir. Detective, is everything okay? Oh, uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. You leave jobs like that to me. Chicken, all right. One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I'd like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanel is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Evening, patrol man! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir! Nice work! Now do me a little favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fellow. Yes, sir! Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important top-secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this, when my Lin's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected. Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit. I mean, I've never even met the guy before. Hmm. Never, baby. Oh, well, uh... For tonight, I mean. Asked me to meet him here. Said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. Hmm... He's the one who contacted me! I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? Take a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I didn't see you listed as involved on any big cases. Hmm. Dot 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 exclamation mark chat. Busted. You know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear up things. Not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you. Never be able to look him in the eye again. Uh-oh. Him in all capitals, chat. Yeah. The plot thickens. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, and what's that? I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. Uh-oh, chat. We have him, we have it. Hmm. Get down! Seems to me that baby is indeed under suspicion. Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that. Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? You never do anything like that. Anyway, it looks like they have been fired from outside. Hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. Any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Hmm. Do I need to 
So maybe I need to move the lamp or something in between. We're also over here, which is awkward. You know what? I have an idea. Him, it, and baby. Yeah, there you go. Those are the genders. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. That is trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here. It'd be more fun to go and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet. Fun, she says, with eyes gleaming. Oh, boy. Use the telephone to move around, right? That's right. Know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I'm gonna get shot again. Know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, probably be safe. The telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Hmm. Are we not gonna talk about this really weird room? Like, what is this in the background? Like, are they, like, little dolls? Like... What a, what a weird room. I hope we go back to it later. Oops, I'm about to use the trick to move it. That is not the direction I thought we were going to move in. But we can examine these things since I'm here, I guess. These pictures are old. What are they of? Little fragments of rock? Stopping the last shooter was fun, like a Tom and Jerry's cartoon. Yeah, he, yeah, we're gonna make sure he suffers an unfortunate accident, Chad. Like, oh, with, oh if only, only you paid some insurance, you know? This, this, this kind of thing wouldn't happen, you know? And the fragments are glowing. Do you know what these are? Sorry, but I lost my memory. Probably not the best person to ask. That's okay. It's only being polite. I didn't really think you'd know. Ouch, this lady's tongue can be sharp. Uh, I can hear what you're thinking, remember? I know. Good one. So I guess we're possibly getting lore as to what the real plot of the game is. Because you know they're both investigating something. If they're not literally the same case, they're related to each other. What could this be? Looks like a giant nail clipper. You think so? Do you know what it is? She sighs. Why do you have to ask me? Didn't you see I was looking away evasively? Huh? It's one of those sciencey things that scientists use. Oh no, they don't know what a microscope is? This is hopeless. Chad, no, no wonder why they're uh, struggling with their cases. Ordinary people like us don't know what it is. Oh, don't have to know what it is. I don't remember what science is. Excuse me? Wait, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Th things are not looking good for a pro tag, chat. So let let's add to the things he doesn't know what they are. He doesn't know what a pistol is, but he's seen it before. He doesn't know what a music box is, and now he doesn't know what science is? That's that's kind of a large thing to not remember. But it's apparently something Lin doesn't like very much. Hmm. We have to think how much of this is potentially related to us not having memories. Yet we can identify most other objects. We're quickly dropping to Phoenix level IQ. Oh, she was examining the other thing. Let's go back in time. So we got extra dialogue there, which is good. But she had the red pamphlet open. Which means I should... Oh wait, can I not... Maybe I can't do what I need to do here. Because I, I was realizing she had the thing. Yeah, maybe I... Oh, I can't reach it. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, let's let time pass then. We've already investigated everything over there. Unless I just feel like going, we Double check, there's nothing else to do over here. So she had it and was investigating it. So maybe it's her little notebook for case details. So we gotta let time pass then. So now that the book is there, I should be able to go on the telephone. Also, can we just wheel into her? What does she say if we do this? <laughs> hey, don't scare me like that. You could shorten my life. Poor little me. Um, your life is already over, actually. You don't have to rub it in. There we go, we can mess with her. Alright, 
Lance for that point of the cutscene. Alright, so let's go dial. Huh? That's funny. What's the matter? The telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line gl glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently, in this four minutes... De uh, four minutes before Death World, we can't just use the telephone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. I want to stop that criminal! Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swivel this. And then maybe putting the light on on her notebook will cause a new cutscene to occur? Huh? That's, Lynn no that's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I guess you could say we were shining light on her activities. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. Big time. So now that he's making the call, we might be able to... Yeah, there we go. I was wondering if because he made the call, we can now use the... Location jump. What's up with this blinding pink notebook? Oh, that's mine. Isn't it adorable? Hehe. <laughs> Why isn't your adorable notebook in your pocket? Panicked, okay? Don't you shove things in the bookcase when you panic? Who were you calling anyway? It was personal business. Alright, so now he's probably calling the junkyard to report on her. So now we could go there. What's up? I'm watching Lynn just like you told me to. I noticed something suspicious. You did? Inspector Cabanello was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, huh? Yes, sir. In a suspicious manner. In a very suspicious place. Or conspicuous, excuse me. Anything else? Uh, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Come to think of it. She was using, she was using the phone when I came in, too, and referring to her notebook. Okay. Someone will be over later. Don't let on you noticed anything. Hey, look at that. The phone line is glowing red. I bet it would work now if we tried. I bet you're right. Detective Isakitu is outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is too. Go there, stay here. Let's go there. I've been waiting for you. Eek, what are you? I just learned that sounds like an old grandpa. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray. Just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We could choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Hmm. Right, chat? Hmm. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, not even answering the question? Oh, no, chat. The, the guilty levels are going off the charts. They're very clearly hiding something from us. Now then, about that gunshot that took your life. Heard it way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. The man is probably getting his rifle ready now. All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. Protagonist isn't dumb, it seems. However, he's very, very ignorant. Yeah, like we made a comment earlier, but yeah, that's like, huh. So he's hiding it on purpose from us. Hmm, right, chat? I'm definitely curious what theories chat has as we go through this. I played a little bit of this a long time ago. I think we're kind of past the point I remember things. I'm very sorry, young lady. But you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair! Anyway, we don't have much time. 
Come on and hop in. Carry on, boys. They changed. That horrible hitman that's after me is upstairs, isn't he? Yes, apparently. In other words, can't stop him if we stay down here. Let's go then. I'm really big on the idea of getting shot again. And now we could go back up here. So this is kind of the same as before. I should be able to turn this on. And do this. Blow the fan. And go into the flag and end up being raised. There we go. We're puzzling again, chat. So now we're at least on the upper level. Oh, what's this? Well, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. Let's be around here somewhere, preparing to take your shot. There's not a lot of time. Let's try to find him and fast. I make good and make sure he understands. What happens to people who point guns at others? There's a gleam in her eye that's absolutely blinding. <laughs> He's a red herring slash red lamp, exactly. I'm sure, th I'm sure there are a million puns that didn't translate. Oh, we can't do anything from here. We have to wait for Kabanara to come. Oh, because he's going to take his bike. Let's see. Okay. Good thing we did that, right, chat? That would have been bad. Oh. Wait, how did they not see that? I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman division by next month for sure. There he is, the horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting fast. New information has been added. Okay, so our, our bio updated to apparently I asked Lynn to meet me at the junkyard tonight and I was trying to make a deal with the mysterious old man. He says she doesn't know me. Oh, we don't have any information update on the other hitman. That's unfortunate. I think nothing else is updated here, but we'll double check. Oh, typical cop. I guess he's the, one of the policemen investigating my murder. There's so many of them, I can't tell them apart. Damn. Let's trick. We could probably blind him. I'm imagining this is what we need to do. There. We put a stop to that shot, at least. We did it, so I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't invert it completely. We're not done yet. That man is a professional. He really, really wants to be head of the division, apparently. Not blocking a shot here and there is really going to stop him. I want to rough him up a little bit. I promise I won't put it in my report. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Chat, wow. <laughs> Classic cop. <laughs> Think of something else before he gets a shot in. Fate changed. So I probably need to do... Oh, I can't do that this time. Maybe I do need to pedal. No, I was thinking I could wheel my way up here. Alright, let's go back down. I go backwards with the bike. Oh, wait. What's happening? Thought I heard the sound effect like I missed the dialogue. Oh, I can't actually do anything. Unless... Oh, I could go on his baton. I 
and want that position. But to be careful of even the least bit of light. The vision head is my ambition for this year. Next year, my motto will be, I want to be director. To be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So, it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. Next year, I'm going to spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. And we're going to turn this on for sure. Well, look at that. One of the lights went out. There's three lights here all together. Apparently, we can't have all three of them on at once. The situation is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so... Another detective could see what he was doing the other day. I had to pedal my bicycle to in place to work the headlamp. What? Why are, what? <laughs> Very sad tale indeed. Apparently they need to charge headlamps to work. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Alright, so I think what we could do is turn on the flashing light of this one. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Was it me? It went off all by itself. Scared the heck out of me. Just to make sure. Just make sure you lay it all lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Things gotten that tight. It's pretty sad. Really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. Won't even let us use all of our search lights at once. Oh boy. Ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. Alright, so I could do that to potentially go the other way. I could turn this one off. I didn't see where he went. Oh, he might be at the other one. Oh, I think I missed my opportunity. I gotta reset. I think I needed to go on the right one. Let's go back here. I mean, I'm like, I could have waited for the cop to come back, but it didn't really make sense to do so. Alright, so let's try a different approach. We know we can't have more than one on at once. We could go to the far left with that cop, and this cop will take us to the far right. So, I might be able to just use the siren first instead of the other one. See if that saves us some time, rather than going through the process of whack-a-mole. Also, I can examine what this does. Oh, nothing happens. That's funny. But this lever was for swinging the crane arm around. I need to swing that horrible hitman around. Hmm, this crane. I if there's some other way we could use it. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So I can freak him out. So now where does he go if I don't do this? He's probably going to go back to the middle, which is fine. Oh. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm on the baton. There are other things I could do here. I can open the gate. Ah, uh, we need to get him on the right side. Yeah, I understand. Will he go back in the middle is the only question. He will. He's probably setting up in the middle, which is where I need to be anyway. I think what I need to do is... Oh, I could have turned off the other searchlight. That was dumb. I should have done that. Right. Let's reset it real quick. So I think if I turn off the searchlight on the left, I can force it to do what I need it to do. We're going to do that real quick. I'm assuming he won't turn it on. Because otherwise I have a feeling it'll just like constantly swap who should be going where. Which is not what I want to do. So I think if I turn this one off... He won't turn it on, right? Or will he? And then he'll walk back to the middle at some point. 
just fine. We can wait a little bit. So now when we go to turn the other one on, he should end up going to the left, which is what I want him to do. I think that's what we need to do. Now let's turn this one on. And since I turned that other one off, that should force him to go to the left, which is what I want. And then I can wait for him over here. So now that we know that gimmick, and now I can go up and ambush him. Let's raise the gate. Now we just gotta wait for the other guy to appear. We should be like here, right? Yeah, because he's not gonna be over there. Perfect. Exactly where I want him to be. Mm, it's quite a distance from the target. I can't work under a spotlight after all. Never mind, a shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. V Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, sis, I'll get him. Hold up, when did I become her assistant? Alright, so I, I I think we're gonna we're gonna have an unfortunate accident befall him, Chad. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, ch oh, Chad. Oh, oops, Butterfingers. Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Nobody said it was. A second victim of natural causes, exactly. <laughs> there. Found a nice dark spot for a gloom-loving hitman. Damn, is every time we stop a murder, we're gonna end up killing somebody when it involves her? <laughs> Our kill count is starting to rack up, Chad. I'm not gonna lie. It's been like an hour and we've killed two people. We're officially a serial killer. I think your death has just been erased again. Fate averted. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? I could do things like... Oh, if I could do things like you do, it would really help me pursue my case. Not only the special few, huh? It's not fair. The same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved. Even if you die again tonight. I could save you with my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. Powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Sissel. I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. Guess this is goodbye, detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. <laughs> that is also an interesting line out of context. Okay, got it. I was kidding. Well, guess we better get... Guess we better be getting back to the present. Let us escape death for a second time. That doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. Better go see how she's doing. <laughs> Yay, you violently killed a man! Just another day in the police force. Wait, where... How do I get out of here? Oh, maybe I have to use the umbrella now. I didn't want to use it before, because presumably that would just game over us. It's probably going to float somewhere, right? I am so happy I did not activate that earlier. Can you imagine if I did that to her in the other case? It would have been like, game over. <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to go on a magical journey. Oh, we can't talk to the lamp again. Disappointing. Well, looks like congratulations are in order. You erase yet another death. I haven't gone any further in solving my own mystery, though. That woman holds the key. Don't forget that. Lin, huh? That she's alive again. Probably still being detained in the super's office. I'm able to pursue her case without the freedom to move around. Or go back to the super's office and see her. That sounds like a good idea. Joke's on you. That's not where I'm going. Right, I'm assuming we can't go here or here. Let's check it on the novel. Listen, chat, we're getting the important details out of the way. <laughs> right, chat, we need to know the status of this novel. Update. 
Looks like the novelist is still taken up with her prime minister. The atmosphere is so thick in this room. It's enough to make your eyes smart. Make your eyes smart? That's a phrase. I think I'd better leave before the air suffocates me. Aw, oh, you're not giving us more novels? Not good. We can't do anything here. We'll make our way down the list. I'm skipping the other two because there's no way it's working. You have anything new to say about this character in this chapter? Oh, something's happening. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Emma was right. Maybe it was a mistake I was ever born at all. But wait a minute. If I'd never been born, Emily wouldn't be here right now. Ugh. I've gotten to the point where I don't know what my mistakes were. What defines a mistake anyway? If something isn't right. Does that make a mistake? I'm out of here. Hmm. How's our resident of the park doing? The entrance to nearly deserted park. The detective who was ordered by Cabanella to perform a stakeout. Nowhere to be seen. Maybe he's in the restroom? What if that strange young man followed him in there? Alright, so nothing we could do here. We still can't examine the leaflet. So sad, chat. Missed opportunity. Anyway, let's continue with the plot. Decided to go back to the office where Lynn was being detained. If there changed fate, her story was sure to change too. And maybe that would lead us in a new direction. Now that Lynn is alive again, I wonder what she's doing. I she was investigating an important case tonight. Would that case be connected to me in any way? Okay, that was a fast chapter. Do another one. I think we got time for a whole chapter. Chapter 5, 8.34 p.m. When Lynn lost her life for the second time, she was being detained, on suspicion of my murder. But I saved her, hoping to solve my own mystery. Living creatures could choose to live their lives in one of two ways. Either submit to their fate, or they could try to change it. Lynn is definitely in the second camp. <laughs> We're like, I, don't, I don't know how much she could try, I guess. As soon as I got back to the junkyard superintendent's office, this fact was really brought home to me. Fool! We told you not to let the suspect out of your sight. They're making tea? My apologies, sir. I never thought she would run away. Lynn is our angel. I, I mean friend. I mean she's like family to us. Angel, friend, or family. They all run when they have the chance. Have any idea how many years it's been since my, right my wife ran away? Oh man, that's brutal. Very sorry, sir. I have no idea, sir. Hm. I'll never make detective at that rate. Now find Lynn. Yes, sir. If Inspector Cabanella gets word of this, it's all over. So, our red-headed detective escaped, did she? But I just barely saved her a few minutes ago. Phew, she's fast. second. Well, guess I'll look around for leads. Trick time. I mean, obviously we want her notebook. Close spout. Oh, that sounds like that would be disastrous. Let's do that. Make it boil, presumably. Ripbot. Probably all getting killed for the third time of the night. I mean, I would not surprise me. Can we still not examine this? Lynn's notebook, sad and forgotten, sits behind the bookshelves. But she had been calling on the phone before she hid it there. I wish I could find out. Q. 
the old pigeon man. You suppose he's carrying out some sort of research here. Look at these precision instruments and complicated devices. What are you doing? Sir, I think maybe this Helen escaped through here. She couldn't possibly fit in that tiny little elevator. Oh, I don't know, sir. Lena's pretty slim. Fool, don't you know that women can make themselves appear slim through fashion? <laughs> what a statement. To this day, I still don't know how much my wife really weighs. I'm very sorry. I had no idea, sir. Hmm. You'll never make detective at that rate. Anyway, where is that old pigeon man? Oh, him, sir. He went through the door behind me, sir. It won't open. Apparently, that door leads to the basement, but it's currently locked, sir. These instruments, they're all very suspicious. Better keep your eye on that old man, too. Yes, sir. Trick time. Have anything new to say? We'll give him a moment. Oh, we can't jump to his baton. Hmm. My chat, that complicates things a little bit. Do we have anything new to say about these photos? These photos look pretty old. Pictures of little fragments of rock. The pigeon guy has some pretty strange taste in wall decor. There's we slightly different things to say, I guess. No idea what this instrument is for. Matter of fact, this whole desk is filled with things I've never seen. I know I've lost my memory, but still. The old pigeon man seems like a pretty strange guy. I guess I'm gonna do the swivel thing again. Now that I lowered him over here, maybe we can have him open up the notebook. My thought process, chat. Huh? This is Lynn's notebook. I give this back to her, it might spark something between us. I'm sorry, what? Hmm, what to do? It's a very complicated manner. Can we find a oh, can we go in the notebook, please? No, we have so much time. We could pause time. We could read this. What have you got there? What? This? Oh, uh, this is, um... Wait a minute. Is that... Yes, sir. It's Lynn's notebook. Notebook, eh? Come to think of it, there was something about that in the report. Something about her looking at her notebook and making a phone call. Are we scare me? Drops in the fire. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. Everything just ends up in the fire. It's the fish tank all over again. Can you please zip over to that? This must be it. This telephone number with a big circle around it. I'm too curious to know who she was calling. I am. I really am, sir. I'd like to know. Oh, but I don't have any ulterior motive for wanting to know, though. No, sir. No, sir. This number might be an important lead. I'd better check it out. Damn, if only we want a notebook there. We still have time. We can sort of go in this room. It just might be time to clean this room up. Or will that close the matter? Her appearance here of all places and tonight of all times. Hardly think it's a coincidence. So we did get a little bonus dialogue for going down there. Hello? To whom am I speaking, please? Yes? Hello? This is a criminal investigation. We need your cooperation. Hey, I know that voice. Is that you, Detective McCall? Oh, is that Officer Bailey? What's up, sir? You don't usually call this late. 
Oh, uh, you get a call from one of our detectives, Lynn, earlier. From Lynn? Yes, I did. She calls every night. Maybe she senses it's about to happen. Did she say anything special? No, not really. Is something wrong? Yes, well, <clears throat> I might be contacting you again if I have any other questions. Race complete. AMR 2675. Going to file the report down at the station. Need you to be vigilant here. Excuse me, Detective, but... What is it? A notebook. Would you mind if I gave... Uh, never mind, sir. Hmm. Just stay on your toes. Trick time. Does he have anything to say once he stops moving? In here from here, better get closer. Sure. Let's get bonus dialogue, Chad. We don't need it to solve the mystery. Darn, there goes my chance to kindle a romance with Lynn. Didn't even get any credit for fighting the notebook. Forgot to ask whose telephone number it was. Only I could crawl into this elevator and just disappear. I disappear. I wonder if Lynn would shed a tear for me. And here I thought he was examining the elevator for clues. Big oof, right, chat? Big oof. Failure. Do you have anything new to say? Go back to the junkyard now. Do we have any comments to say to the lamp? That's the real question, chat. Oh, back again? Yeah, just checking to see if anything's new. Well, let me see. A moment ago, your corpse was taken away by the police. It was? Oh. Guess I'll never see my poor corpse again. Nothing is permanent. We lose everything in the end. <laughs> that was kind of dark, actually. But there are some things we could get back, right, Ray? Suppose you are right. Goodbye, our corpse. At least we could see Ray living its best ghost life. Still can't do anything there. Guess we'll just go to a new place. What was that call all about? Who'd you say, Lynn? Oh, he's good with cards. I don't really know. If I had to take a guess, though, I'd probably say something's going on with her. Ha ha ha. The only place in the world where nothing is going on is inside your brain, Bailey. Ah! That is a dramatic reaction. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, I know what the words mean. That's not what I'm asking. That's my way of expressing indignation, putting, in the, putting it in the form of a question. So Lynn's not doing anything crazy. I'm a fan of hers, you know? According to my log, he's been calling here nearly every night as of late. Let's see. It's the place Lynn took all that risk to call, huh? What exactly is this place? Let's see if they have any more dialogue. Hmm. Like the phone ringing. Have any new information? We do. <laughs> Here we go, chat. He followed Lynn to the junkyard, but met with an with an unfortunate accident. Damn, chat. Those unfortunate accidents just keep happening. How truly unfortunate. Apparently, his name is Detective McCall. There we go. We learn a little more about him. Navy Blue Square. So we only learned about one of the people, even though there's two people in this room. 
sits at his desk in some office and appears to be working. He also wears the same uniform. I can't tell him apart. They don't look that... Hmm. I'm gonna say, they don't look the same. That's an interesting observation our character keeps having. We can let loose the memo. And examine the monitor. Let's do that first. There we go. Calvisha was like, goodbye, bot. Screen shows rows of tiny rooms. The rooms are really, really small. You can see right into them from the outside. Those the open bars to keep the rooms airy, but I wouldn't want to live in one myself. I wonder where the... I wonder where these little rooms are. Oh no, chat. <laughs> oh no, we're wondering about little bars everywhere. Hmm... G chat, I wonder where we are. I bet our uh our uh brain trust group in Sweet in 4 wouldn't know. Let's let loose. Hey, what's this? Wait a minute. This is a jail! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, what's this? Oh that? I wrote down my duties for the night, so I wouldn't forget any of them. You can't keep them in your head? Sounds like you have a ton of duties, after all. He's a little brain power. Ah! There you go. Ch Chat wants to react dramatically on the chair like that. What are you talking about? Weren't you the one who just said nothing was going on inside my brain? Dot, 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 dot. Hmm. Didn't think you'd quite take it in that direction. So, let's see this important to-do list of yours. Nine o'clock. Take prisoner C-38 to the telephone room. Yes, you just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. Nine, huh? It's usually when Lin calls. Hmm. Well, we can't let her talk to him tonight. Rules are rules. Hmm. We heard of him in context before with the other detective. So, my guess would be... I'm assuming probably an ex-police detective that happens to be her father kind of thing. wonder if it's going in that direction. I know a little bit about the game, but not like a whole ton. Rules are rules, chat. Oh, poor Lynn. Sure wish I could come for her. Ugh. What do you think you're doing? That's my important duties memo. That's okay. I've got it all memorized for you. Well, it's your duty to guard the telephone room, you know. Just make sure you do your job when the time comes. Oh, phone call. Oh, I ended up in here? That sucks. I actually wanted to explore the room a bit more. Hello? Lin? I'm sorry. I don't have much time. Please let me talk to him. Sorry, Detective. I can't do that tonight. You can't? You always let me talk to him before. Well, uh, the telephone room is already reserved. That's why. Oh. By the way, something going on with you tonight. What? Why do you ask? I got a call from one of the other detectives a minute ago, asking about you. Oh, really? I don't think it's anything important. Officer Bailey? You think you could keep this call just between us? Even if only for tonight? Well, I, uh... Oh. Well, I gotta go. I'll call again tomorrow. I was gonna say, the real mystery is where she found that phone. We could go there if we want to. Oh boy. Well, I guess I better call the detective division. Hold on there, Bailey. What? Don't tell me you're gonna report that call from Lynn. What else can I do? It's my duty. Write it down on one of the, your important to-do lists. And I can wad it up for you and throw it away. You mean you want me to keep quiet about it? Well, isn't that what she asked you to do? Well, yes, but... That is kind of a special case for us. Can you make a special exception for my Lin, too? Uh... Special case, huh? Alright, you win. New info has been added. 
So I think I missed the opportunity to explore on the right side, which is unfortunate. I don't know what they think is special about tonight. For me, it's my only night. It's on the other end of the telephone line. I better hurry. Oops. Keep accidentally clicking out of the game. So it, like, unfocuses and I can't use the touch screen. Oh, that said something updated. Am I hallucinating? Unless the phone book updated. Uh, did I come to were investigating my case are gone? Okay, something interesting there. Bridge of Man's office. The junkyard superintendent apparently lives here too. Nowhere to be seen. Nothing new there. Mystery place. No data. Uniform men's office. Is this some kind of office? Men wearing uniforms appear to be working. Or maybe not working here. I don't have anything new to say about the other places. But sadly, I think I lost my opportunity to see the other monitors. Oh well. Go to the new location. Is <laughs> she dead again? Chat, that did not take long. What kind of, like, rude Goldberg device are we looking at? The bird is here. Lynn! Lynn! Oh, why couldn't it have been me instead? No use as a police officer. It should have been me! Oh no, that reminded me of the, the Yu-Gi-Oh thing. <laughs> it should have been me, not him! Dramatic screaming at the heavens ensue. Looks like she's dead. We better not touch her. Who did this? Who shot Lin? Hey, excuse me, mister. You talking to me? It is like a rude Goldberg contraption. Okay. This room. There aren't any other exits beside this one, are there? Did she die due to an elaborate contraption? Is this perhaps related to presumably why her father is in prison? The ridiculous setup leading to a kill? Did you see one? The seal of Ori Calcos did get her. Huh? Then how did... Must have one of those mysterious locked room murder cases on our hand. So... Presumably a series of increasingly ridiculous events occurred. So... Since we're now in territory where I don't know what will happen, I'm guessing... Maybe it was something like her father is like a really quirky inventor, and so he wanted to build a contraption to surprise her for her birthday, but then it killed somebody, and that's why he's in jail. And then she went to go re... to replicate it. That's why this guy talked about leaving the room as is before, because this is where the crime scene happened the first time. Only she was stupid and went in the same spot as the victim that died here. So maybe she wants to prove that her father wasn't a murderer. Is that what's happening? I mean, we got to think outside the box on this one, Chad. I'm telling you, when you see a room like this, you can't think normal things, right? Like you have to, you have to take it up a level. So I'm assuming a, something went wrong with the contraption. But is it, is it the father's fault still? I guess we'll find out. One of those cases where the murderer vanishes into thin air in a vacuum. Yeah, because I was wondering if that was a birthday cake under the box before, like it was a cake box. Yeah, death by stupid, exactly. So it looked like some kind of stupid, weird, like weird thing where like uh, the bowling ball moved like a couple places, and like a torch lit a light or lit like a rope, and then that helped because we saw the weird twirly thing, and that somehow like rises and falls to knock something else out, and that potentially shoots a ball that rolls along a track. Do you know what I mean? It looks like one of those things. Let's go find a real detective. I'll keep watch here. Damn. I have some theories about the uh, the real identity of the protagonist, but I, I I will withhold it. I will say I am pretty sure we have seen who I think the protagonist is, but the protagonist does not realize it. I will leave it very vague because I don't want to ruin the game for people. 
but I'm pretty sure I know who the protagonist is. I'm not sure who Ray is still, though, unfortunately. I'll get more clues, I'm sure, as we go through. What a terrible turn of events. So now a locked room murder, huh? These things never get dull for a redhead. I know for certain inspector who might dance around at the thought of a mystery. But no mysteries for me. Not when I can rewind time and talk to the victim herself. This is time to go back and see the truth behind this murder with my own eyes. So I imagine it's her birthday? That's why it's also special for her? Let's see if we get any additional dialogue. Let's see if we can observe it. See, like, there's the tennis ball, right? Like, it was supposed to carry something, and then it would, like... Kind of like boop boop boop. And this would potentially go here. There's a pistol here, which could be used. Oh, I missed some dialogue. That's unfortunate. I didn't realize it would go away. Where the pigeon raised the fish tank. Because it's already established that the characters can look like anybody. So I am convinced, at minimum, we are not the person in the red suit. But I will not go into further details. Uh, but we'll see. So sadly, I don't think we're getting his dialogue again, which kind of sucks, because I was just looking around the room. Ah, uh, I died again. Dot, 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 dot. Why'd you be a little more grave under their circumstances? Yeah, well, this is the third time, after all. It's scary what a girl could get used to, don't you think? Frankly, the way her whole mind works is a whole lot scarier to me. What happened this time? Who shot you? I don't know. What? I'd like to know myself. Who could have done it? Who shot me? Who are you asking me for? Oh boy. I guess I'll just have to find out myself. Okay, just go... You just go do that. Hurry along now. Get the distinct impression of being used here. Okay, looks like it's time to go back. Back to four minutes before your death. Okay, what insane, ridiculous thing is going to result in the pistol shooting and somehow killing her? Maybe it's supposed to pop something? Four minutes. Like, maybe it's supposed to shoot something and then it would open up... I don't know. Because you could clearly see, like, that was the line that got burned that would set off the other machine. Maybe it's supposed to pop something like a balloon and that would reveal something? I'm just trying to think. How long has it been since I locked this room up in darkness? Once thought the truth could be discovered in darkness. Maybe it was just that the time wasn't ripe. Yeah, you could see like some shenanigans are gonna happen here. So she did hide in there. I like how no one thought of checking downstairs. So, I wonder if her death was accidental or if another ghost is interfering. I guess we'll see. We'll get lore on this at some point, presumably. He hung up. Well, there's the tea that I started boiling. Yeah, there we go. I did it, chat. Okay, chat. What kind of ridiculous thing is gonna set it off? So presumably she's gonna light it. Welcome, DevG. She's gonna die in some ridiculous way for sure. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, you hear the ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 ba. Yep, and that's gonna light it. Oh, but the. The pistol was aimed towards her. That's funny. Okay, so she didn't exactly go... Oh, and then everything reset. That's interesting. <laughs> I was thinking uh, the bowling ball was somehow going to be used, but I guess it, it just stayed on the right side. That's the truth behind our locked room murder? That murder was a mechanical murder machine? Murder machine. I came into the room. It was pitch black. So I turned on the light. That must have been what set it off. The murder machine, I mean. Please stop repeating the words murder machine. The little pigeon guy must have made it, but why? What would be the meaning behind this weird room? 
Yeah, you can hear it was definitely supposed to be like ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba ba, but only half of it was there. It's like the gun was supposed to shoot something, and then that would have triggered the bowling ball. So maybe that's part of the contraption going wrong. Anyway, you'll have to find some way to stop that creepy machine. Once Cupid fires this arrow, it's all over. So it's more I just need to make sure the gun is not aimed at her, and I think we'll probably hear the full song. Ooh, so I can't do anything from here. You know what, Sissel? I think this death might be easier to prevent than the others. Why is that? You know, because the murderer is mechanical. She has a point. I can't manipulate living creatures, but I can manipulate this machine. I just gotta figure out how to stop it. Four minutes ago, me turns on the light. That's when the murder machine is set in motion, apparently. Looks like the key to solving this one. It's understanding the Rube Goldberg machine. Wait, he knows what Rube, Rube Goldberg is, but not science? Hmm, that's weird. Now I should be able to hop between things if I need to. Can't reach the phone. Oh, I can't dial anything. What a shame. Yeah, yeah, we know that. I'll wait here, I guess. really do anything here, which is kind of annoying. I'm assuming this is where I have to wait. You managed to cram yourself into that tiny elevator. I always like small cramped places. Where I see a little hole or crevice, I always feel like I'm crawling in. The place I feel at most... Oh, excuse me. The place I feel most at home is that space between my bed and the wall. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Ah, oh, we're birds of a feather. We get together and talk about it sometime. So I should be able to go back upstairs, right? Oh, not yet, because he hasn't picked up the phone. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, game. I know. So I can go back upstairs if I need to. So if nothing else, we could see what happens by going upstairs. Oh, I hit the trick button. Come on, game. Are you going to deny me up there? Yeah, we're gonna go there. Let, we're probably gonna get a bad end, but I just want to see. Get extra dialogue. It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn. Chance as bright as the sun ran away on me. Those detectives. Matching bookends, blue and green, yelled at me. And the old man with the dirty blue dove on his head completely ignored me. Only somebody would give me a kind word right about now. Wanna give me a kind word? Oh, when, you wanna give him a kind word, Miss Bright as the Sun? Uh, let's see. Hang in there. That's all you got? I'd like to see you do better. So we might be able to... Force this to go off earlier. I wonder if this would help us. Then ran away. Detectives yelled at me. The old pigeon man ignored me. Then the kettle nearly scared me to death. I should be able to go to the motor at the top, maybe? So I guess it, we might not be dead-ended right now. My life is a complete shambles. That's gratitude for you. Just trying to warm him with the kettle whistle. But he preferred getting scalded by the steam. Well, at least his fate has changed a bit. That's good anyway. Oh, okay, so that was actually required. Alright, so before we go further, does he have anything to say? No. So now we could go into the room again, but this time from above. We can't do anything here yet. We have a little mini checkpoint for us. 
Hmm. So I need to wait until the ball comes up here, I think. Game, are you really giving me dialogue right before she's about to die? There it goes. The murder machine has started. If the whole thing plays out, the gun on the wall will go off. Before that happens, it's up to me to use my ghost tricks. Must be some way to disrupt the domino effect. Chad, I'm very curious if I just let her get shot, what happens? You just have to find it. Here it goes. Oh, so I'm in the ball, so I can technically... Oh, it's a toy cake. So, okay. I can examine this if I want to. Oh, I know this toy. Bill spins and moves down the pole. Hey, look, there's a thread attached to it. it loops around the clock and it's tied to the frame that the gun is in. It seems to be connected to our fiery Mr. Cupid as well. Who seems to be the heart of the entire mechanism? Inertia is surprisingly powerful. Can't stop it once it's set into motion. Right, so we can't jump to the Cupid. We can open a door, apparently. What does that even do? Nothing for us. Alright, so we'll, we'll figure out how to do it for real. Let's see if she dies again, what happens. So I need to be on the left side of the room, I think. <laughs> Just let her get shot again. Let's see what she says. Time's up, chat. Why can't you just make me escape through the trap door in the floor? You and I both know that's impossible, Missy. Although, I thought I saw a new path open up to us when I opened that door. But I get, miss my chance to get back on the main path afterwards. It's about to rerun the clock. Okay, so we do get a little extra hit if we do fail on purpose. I was curious. So we have to be on the ball, because that's the only thing that moves. So we did have the ability to go to the door at one point. So the cake in between, we could in theory... Like, when I'm over here, I could in theory jump over to here. Uh, oh, okay, now I understand what it wants me to do. Well, I can't do anything about it now. So it wants me to use the bowling ball to knock the tennis ball up. Okay, so we need to create a ramp and then we're good. Okay, now I understand what it wants me to do. So the trick is... Can we do it fast enough is the question. It is kind of annoying how tightly coupled together it is. We need to wait till it's like about here. Then I could go back up here. Wait to, for it to get a little further. Gotta wait for it to hit the floor. It's not what I wanted to do. Wanted to hit this one, my bad. Now something different should happen. There we go. Wait. Wait, hold on. <laughs> it's still it still set it on fire? That's unfortunate. So I think I just missed the timing. That's unfortunate. I think I actually had the solution. I just did it slightly too slow. That's unfortunate. I think me hitting the toolbox was wrong. Unfortunate. That's kind of brutal that they have a, such a tight timing puzzle. Like, I think I know what the solution is, just doing it fast enough. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So I don't think I did anything wrong other than, like, I... You know, like, there's nothing else I... I have to do this, so I did this correctly. Then I can... I don't know what the purpose of the hoist is yet, though. Like, that's as tight as I could do it. There we go. Yeah, that was very tight. Okay, so it was supposed to shoot something. Party poppers. 
What just happened? <laughs> oh no, chat. I, I think I got robbed on that one. What do you think, chat? What was I off by like point, point 0.2 seconds or something? I was like, wait a minute. Looks like your future just got a whole lot rosier. Your death has been erased again. I uh, thank you. You kept your promise, didn't you, Cecil? I promise. I said I'd see you again if I died. I don't remember making any promises. It's all for my own benefit, anyway. Fate averted. Look at this room be all about. Hmm, I can't imagine. Wait, they don't know what it they played the birthday theme. What do you mean? There's party poppers and a toy cake. You guys are killing me. Now now we're going Phoenix right, right, chat? Like, it's not a mystery. They, it, it, what else would you have party poppers and a cake for? Those things that went off at the end, those were party poppers, weren't they? Yes. Party poppers. I have no recollection of what they are, but that's no surprise. Hmm. We seem to have some very weird knowledge, chat. I have a very strong theory, but I will not say it because I want chat to have their own theories. And as I said before, I believe we have seen the true identity of this character already. And I think they're trying to throw us off a little bit, but I think I'm all into the game. Party poppers, the gun going off. It seems familiar somehow. Oh, maybe it's, maybe this isn't where the birthday took place. Maybe this was a replication of the crime scene. So maybe this isn't literally the crime scene, but this is like somebody that believed in the father's innocence. I'm wondering if that's what's going on. Leave that part of the puzzle to you. I have my own puzzle to figure out. Well, shall we go now? Back to your new present? At this point, we should just have her on speed dial because we need to just teleport to her <laughs> due to how many times she dies. I guess the real question is, Chad, how many times do you think she's going to die before the end of this game? I believe, if I recall very briefly, there were 12 chapters in this game from outside research, because I was prepping for the stream like a, a long time ago, like two years ago. Sissel, are you there? Lynn is talking to me. You're there. Could you say something? You're not there. I guess I'm just a weird girl who talks to herself. Well, you are kind of a weird girl, whether you talk to yourself or not. We almost made it to the halfway point of the game, I think. Alright, let's talk to her. You are here, I knew it. I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot into a girl's head uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. Just a figure of speech. Hey, did I say anything? There, that tone. That tone of yours that makes me mad. So, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? Dot to dot to dot, chat. Just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now. Murder case. And I'm doing it alone. Murder case, all by yourself? Yes, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars, forgotten by the world. Yep, we're tying it together. Why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why. Something strange behind the case. Some big mystery, I firmly believe that. So anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. If there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I would like to ask her about a few things. About the man who shot me. You have your life and your memory back now. Let me ask you again. Who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought that might be the first thing on your mind. What else would it be? It's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid. My memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear. I met with you tonight. And you fell down right in front of me. I can remember seeing that part. Hmm. Pretty sure you were shot. Maybe from somewhere far away? So you didn't see the culprit? Sorry. Wish I could be of more help. But I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. What did the information you had for me? So why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? 
wonder what info I had for her. About the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Mila, how do you know about her? It's a tiny incident. Oh, there was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. Yes, yeah, seeing indeed. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Kemalo all right? She's fine, thanks to her loyal friend. Missile. Although I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Kemala and Missile? They're being targeted by a certain organization. What? I saw them. The people who were calling you their target. I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? <laughs> I was gonna say. Well, we still have like six more chapters. Is it gonna be like four or five more deaths for her? Right, Chad? I mean, I feel like we're, we gotta have at least a death of hers every other chapter at this rate. This sounds pretty rough. Sure you'll be on your own? Oh, be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains, it pours. Isn't the time you admitted you need me? Need my powers? She dot dot dots. I'm sorry. I can't cooperate with you. Dot 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 dot. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. Damn, chat. What death for chapter sounds about right? Yeah. That's too bad. About the information. That's some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right. You called the station yesterday. You asked to talk to me. You told me you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, huh? Said you wanted to meet and talk to me directly. Tonight at the junkyard. You fell for it. Even given how fishy it sounds. You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seemed. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right. You said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? Dot, da, dot, da, dot, da, dot. It could be like a... I mean, the timeline for her might be like appeals. Like you're running out of time to appeal the case and prove before it gets like closed forever. Imagine that's what her time limit is. I'm not sure what the other people are investigating yet, but I imagine it's related somewhat to the organization that we've been seeing. I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. Let's go back. She dot dot dots. What are you gonna do now? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I get out. If I don't get out of here, I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Kamala. Oh yeah. What was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? What about you, Sissel? What are you going to do? I don't know. To tell you the truth, you're my only lead. If you leave, I just realized you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight. Neither one of us has anybody to help us. That about sums it up. Hey, if you can't cooperate with me, how about we just agree to use each other? <laughs> that's, that, that's one way to form a partnership, I guess. It's not a bad idea. You're on. But can I ask you to do me a favor? Oh, do a favor for me first? What's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Oh no, Chad, who would have seen that coming? Prison? It's a place I was calling from the office upstairs. I need to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule? For a prisoner? Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in his cell. Let's go check on a certain prisoner's blackboard, huh? Okay. His prisoner number is D99. You do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Hmm. I don't think that was the same number they said in the office, right? I think they said C38. Okay, you're on. Here, let me give you Chicken Kitchen's telephone number. Face complete. We got the Chicken Kitchen. Okay, see you later. See ya. Don't die again if you can help it. 
yeah, she she is definitely dead at this restaurant chat. Either she's gonna get food poisoned or like some nonsense will happen in the restaurant. It'll get like robbed or she'll get hit by a car. Like there's so many things. Like just like she made it to the restaurant, but not in one piece. Like just one of those things. There's no way. There's no way she's gonna be alive when we go there. I refuse. Oh, the lamp is there. Hmm. Looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating. It holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's schedule for prisoner D99. Better get to the prison. Hmm. I just had a strange thought of who Ray is, but I don't. Could that? Hmm. Hmm. How does that work? <laughs> okay. I. Okay. Unless there's some time time travel shenanigans, I. I. Uh. Maybe. Maybe. I'm gonna save for now. We're gonna leave it there. I have another theory, but we're gonna pause here and talk a little bit about the game. So I saw something peculiar in that scene when Lin ran by, and I'll leave it there, because it reminded me of something else another character would do. But that character is not dead, so I'm a little confused. But we also saw that people have different ghost powers, so maybe it has something to do with that? Question mark? But I was reminded of something just then, and I will not go into more details. Unless chat wants me to put my theories out, <laughs> I'll guess. I'm willing to make a guess, but there we're still missing a very big plot element, so there's some driving factor I don't understand still. But uh, we'll, we'll hit no for the continue playing for now. I don't think we have enough time to take another chapter seriously. So what does chat think of the game so far? We've gone through... I played, as I said before, a little bit of the game just to make sure that it was like running okay, and that there wasn't any weird like issues a while back and then i tested it again before the stream playing at least up to the tutorial uh we're going into like new territory for me but i have some theories i guess i'm pretty sure i know who the protagonist is i'm confused about ray because something weird is happening <laughs> it's your call if you want to guess yet i don't know i'm gonna leave it to chat if chat wants to hear it i'm willing to make a guess or at least I can go into more detail about that last observation. But yeah, it was kind of one of those things where I was kind of curious about uh, some of the differences between the games, like with the English and Japanese version. Like one thing I remember seeing a long time ago was like Sis Sisel was called Shishiru, like S-H-I-S-E-R-U, if I remember, which I think means dead. So I remember they had a lot of name puns. So when I saw that, I'm like, I'm not going further. I don't really want to spoil kind of things. My thoughts. I miss Missile, but the game is still interesting, quirky, charming so far. Yeah, I saw something that has to do with Missile, actually. Funny funny that you bring Missile up. Because, uh, hmm. <laughs> I, will, I will say that that lamp was suspiciously doing something Missile would do when it saw one of the owners. So I'm like, hmm question mark dot 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 <laughs> but yeah i have a feeling out of who the protagonist is because i think what it's implying at minimum is that our body is currently using a power right but we don't have to be the person that's using the power do you know what i mean like if we if we put in an assumption that we are not the person that we assume ourselves to be then that opens up who we could be by quite a lot actually and I'm pretty sure I know what is happening. Under the assumption given earlier that other ghosts have different powers, I think I know what is happening. So it'll be very interesting going through it. So yeah, I, I have some theories. <laughs> I, can, I can write it down if chat wants. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I have some theories. But the weird thing about it, though, is that, as I said before, one of the characters I think Ray is is still alive, which complicates it. But again, we seem the ability to go back in time. So maybe it has something to do with that, where I don't know if it's going to talk about 
you know, how how complicated is the game going to be? Is it just, it's a power, they're witnessing the last day of their death before it happened? Is it, like, absolute shenanigans where we break the timeline and we're doing, like, a Chrono Trigger thing? Like, how, how far in the time-breaking paradox are we going to go? Because presumably, based off of the information we learned today, Ray has been around for a while, they somehow know how ghost powers work, so this would infer that they've been around for more than just a couple hours. And then they allegedly state that a ghost can't last longer than a day, but we don't have any proof of that, and that seems probably the most suspicious thing that they've told us so far. And they also are purposely hiding their identity, which is also very interesting to me. And they seem to have an obsession with two characters specifically, and one of them is Lin in particular. So if we put that in context, there's not a lot of characters we've seen so far that could potentially be it, but I think the 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 wiggle wiggle of the lamp gives me an indicator of who I think it is. But when it comes to the protagonist, I think I know what is going on. I wish we were in ghost form when we saw one of the cutscenes earlier, just to see if a power was affecting something in the chapter one cutscene. And I will make that as ambiguous as possible for people that want to make a guess on that. But I am 99% sure who the protagonist is. With the assumption that the body we assume ourselves to be is using a ghost power. And that's why we can't go to it. Because the person might not technically be dead, quote unquote. Kind of in the air. Ray is actually Wendy Oldbag, maybe. Yeah, the plot thickens indeed. So I'm very curious where it's going to go. I mean, I still think the person we're going to meet is going to be the father, right? Like, I'm pretty sure it's the father who is accused of a crime he didn't commit, and that's why she cares about him a lot. And Cabanella cares about her because he was the partner of the father, so that we have that connection there. And then the father was set up by the organization because he knew something? Question mark? And because she's investigating the father, that's why she's the target of the organization. But we haven't really been given a lot as to what the organization is doing. That, to me, is probably the most open mystery at the moment. Like, what are they attempting to do is so far in the game? Like, so far, we've only seen them try to kill people. They've not really referred to, like, a project or, like, a plan. They seem to know a couple people. So maybe it'll be something like... I don't want to say world domination, that's too generic, but it'll probably involve the ghosts somehow. Maybe that's how the ghost powers come about. Maybe they cause it. And then, like, another character could just be going back through time. Like, the device is active, quote-unquote, and that's why we have ghost powers. I wonder if they're going to try to tie it back into that. Like, it's not normal for ghosts to just do this in the universe. That would be my guess. Some device has given us our powers. And that also means potentially that Ray was already hit by it as like one of the initial subjects. You know what I mean, chat? And maybe the, the, the reason they're trying to say tonight, it could be not that they only have it for a day, but because the device is going to potentially stop working or might get interrupted today. And that's why, quote unquote, it only works that long. But we'll see how much it goes into. As I said before, we have a lot of unreliable narration happening where the protagonist doesn't know very basic human concepts, which is very weird. Like, they don't understand a lot of things that they see. Like, even without memory, they just don't know what it is. And we could pr kind of presume by how they died, they would probably know what a gun was. Because something probably went off and they've heard it before. But the fact that they don't understand basic things like science to me is like one of the biggest red flags. And why I think the protagonist is a very specific character that we saw in chapter one. Um, but from that standpoint, I guess we'll see where it goes. But anyway, hope that's ambiguous enough. <laughs> but we understand Rue Goldberg. Yeah, that that also was a bit weird. That I don't understand. Unless we were... Well, I can't say... I, I was about to say a word that would give away who I think it is. But yes. Uh, I think maybe because of somebody we were related to is the most ambiguous way I can frame that. Uh, is why we know that. So it's possible we saw the original crime? Question mark. Possible. And that's why we know about it. 
And I, I will leave it ambiguous there. But anyway, that's it for now, chat. Let's go ahead and, I guess, say goodbye to YouTube. So the, those are the theories. Chat can form their own, of course, as we play through the game. But yeah, we have... Uh, the, the, <laughs> I guess the other theory is, Chad, how do you think she's going to die at the restaurant? <laughs> I, I'm willing to say she's probably going to get assassinated again at the restaurant. I don't know if she'll be shot while having a meal or if, like... I don't know, like some something will something weird will happen because we keep seeing like references to the van in the park. Is the van somehow going to kill her or the guy that's supposed to be eaves like not eavesdropping? It's supposed to be uh, on lookout for her. I'm really curious if he's going to like accidentally hit her on the way to a restaurant or something. It would honestly not surprise me. I feel like they've been setting up this van for a while, so... I don't know. I feel like it's it's going to be driven somewhere at some point. And whether it kills her or not, I guess it's like a coin flip. Given that there's so many things that could probably kill her. But anyway. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have... I, I guess... I guess I hope to see you again in the next part for YouTube. Are we the van? Maybe. Maybe we'll possess the van in the future.